This is tutorial number 19, and it covers the shell function within SOLIDWORKS. To start off, let's open up the shell tutorial part, which I have included in the DVD. Now, what the shell function does in SOLIDWORKS is it creates a shell as big as we want around a 3D part that we have already created. Now, I've already created this 3D part, and we're going to make a shell around it. To start off, let's right-click Extrude 2 and suppress it. Now, we're only going to make a shell around the cube right now. So let's click Shell. And to create a shell within SOLIDWORKS, all that we have to do is create, is click which face we want to create it from. And we want to create it from that face. Let's click Show Preview. And now the yellow box shows what we are going to get. The yellow box is the shell that we are going to create from that 3D part. Now click OK and we've created a shell around that 3D object that we first began with. Now, this is quite easy to manipulate also like the other tools, so right click shell, click edit feature, and we're able to make the shell larger, or we can make it smaller. Click isometric view, and let's make this outer shell 35 millimeters. Click OK and now we've created a shell. Now right click shell and click delete. Now right click extrude 2 and unsuppress it. Now we're going to make a shell with both of these parts. Click shell, click this face here, click show preview, and now it shows the shell that we're going to create from that 3D part. Again, we can make it go smaller, or we can make it go larger. For this one, let's make it 5 millimeters. Click OK. And now we've made a 5 millimeter shell around that part that we first began with. And this concludes our tutorial on the shell function within SOLIDWORKS.